your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Did you know that the kingdom of God is a present reality and the book of Revelation presents the kingdom of God, the church which belongs to Jesus Christ, the family of God. He presents it as a present reality. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're in the midst of a study on how to understand the book of Revelation. And this is very key to understand that the book of Revelation proclaims that the kingdom of God has been established. Yesterday we looked at chapter 1 verse 6 and chapter 1 verse 9. Chapter 1 verse 6 says that He's made us a kingdom. Verse number 9, John says He's in the kingdom. Uh, those are some difficult verses to get around. We just have to accept the truth of that. But this is consistent with the overall declaration of the rest of Scripture. Mark 9 and verse 1, Jesus said that His kingdom would be established with power in the lifetime who were standing there listening to Him at that time. Mark 9, 1. Look at that. But also, I want you to notice something else. In Matthew chapter 16, we begin at verse number 18. Notice this. Peter has just made the great proclamation, the great confession that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And notice verse 18, And Jesus said, And I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock, that bedrock that, of the deity of Jesus, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So he's saying the kingdom is going to be established, I'm going to give you the keys, uh, Peter. The church is going to be sta established. And he's using the term church and kingdom interrelated. Now, he's saying it's going to be future. It's going to happen in the future. But now I want you to look at Colossians chapter 1 and verse number 13. And notice this. In Colossians 1 and verse 13, Paul would write, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Or in other words, we've been translated into, we have been placed into the kingdom. That's a really great concept because the word church itself means the called out people. We've been called out of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear Son. So someplace over here in Matthew chapter 16, he says in Matthew chapter 16, the kingdom will be established. Over here he says, guess what? The kingdom's been established. Something happened in between. Well, of course, in Acts chapter 2, we read about the establishment of the church. Well, then it would make sense that we read in Revelation chapter 1, verse 6, that He's made us a kingdom. Incidentally, you notice that's past tense, made us. As a matter of fact, in the Greek, that's really significant. It's a point action that was completed in the past. Are you in the kingdom of God? Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.